all right you guys so today i'll be working with ali pearl hair so they sent me over a wig and they sent me over some goodies as well so i'm here i'm just showing you guys what they gave me so here's what the wig looks like this is their 22 inch v part kinky straight wig and this is what the texture looks like straight out of the packaging so moving on to style i'm going to be styling on my mannequin head and i'm going to be doing some wand curl so i'm going to be taking my con air wand curler and i'm going to be wand curling this hair now i've had this wand curler for years you guys and it has never failed me so i would definitely recommend this i've had this for over five years and i've never had an issue with it and it's very inexpensive so make sure um if you are looking for an inexpensive wand curler um check this one out so like i said i'm going to be styling this on my mannequin head because it's a little bit easier to style wigs on a mannequin head because i feel like you get it more perfect and you you know you get to see everything um a little bit better so i'm just going to be taking like medium sized sections of this hair because I want my wand, my wand curls to be a little bit bigger. I do not want like tight wand curls. I want it to have some nice body. So I'm going to take medium sized sections of the hair and just wrap it around the wand curler and I let it sit for about 15 to 20 seconds just to really like, you know, let it take form and then um that's basically it. So I'm going to let you guys watch me style this wig and of course install it as well. Alright y'all, so I finished styling the wig on my mannequin head, so now I'm going to move on to installing this unit. Now of course this is a V-part wig, which means your natural hair will be left out. So now I'm going to start sectioning off my natural hair that I want to use as my leave out. So of course I'm going to be doing a middle part, so I'm just going to section off some hair in the middle. And then of course I'm going to section off some of my edges as well to help blend seamlessly with this wig. So after I have my leave out all sectioned off and my edges as well, now I'm just going to start combing my hair. I'm going to put in a ponytail and I would definitely recommend um, having some sort of braid down so that when you clip the wig in place, it's a little bit more secure. However, you still can get away with, um, you know, not having a perfect braid down or anything like that under your wig. As long as you make sure nobody's pulling or tugging on your wig, <laughs> you do not need a braid down for this look. So now I'm just going to start clipping the wig in place. All right, y'all, so now that I got the wig clipped in place, now I'm going to start styling my leave out to help blend um, with the wig. So I'm going to be taking some of my natural hair as well as some of that hair from the wig. Um, and I'm going to be curling it together. I like to do this so that my hair kind of blends in seamlessly with the wig and you can't tell the difference between like my leave out and um, the wig. So now I'm just gonna be styling my natural hair to blend in with the wig. Oh, 
Alright you guys, so here's the final results and here is how my hair turned out. Super duper pretty you guys, like this hair came out so beautiful. Um, The curls were just perfect, like I love everything about this look. So again, thank you to Ali Pearl for sending me over this wig. I will link all of the details down in the description box below so you guys could go ahead and check them out. But also let me know down in the comments below how did you like this look, how did you like the curls. Um, And also be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure your post notification bell is turned on so every time I post a new video, you will be one of the first people to be notified but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you beauties in my next one bye